Good morning, Hampton Roads. How's everybody doing today? And welcome to Virginia's only local real estate investing podcast, where we get to talk about local investors, local deals, and all things local. I'm your host, the founder of the Master Investor Academy and author of my best-selling book, Work Just Gets in the Way of Making Money, Scott Jelinek. How's everybody doing today? If you have any questions, comments, concerns, things you'd like to discuss right here, or any properties you'd like to sell, you can go ahead and text me at 757-699-4227. And if you have not done so already, go ahead and subscribe to this channel or podcast and leave me a rating and review. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you are watching the video version, just give me a thumbs up so I know you're out there. It helps me get this video out to more people. So what I wanted to talk to you today about is going to be a, uh, a big one for you. And this is a question I must have gotten three or four times in the last um, week. And it's interesting how everybody defaults to this question. And so I wanted to, I figured, hey, let's address it and we'll just get it out there. And the question is some variation of what's the easiest way for me to make money in real estate? What's the easiest way for me to make a lot of money real quick? What's the, you know, and they're always, what's the easiest to make money, either quick, a lot of money, some variation. And so I thought, what a better topic to address than what is the easiest way for you to make a bunch of money in real estate? <clears throat> All right. Are you guys ready? Everybody, uh, everybody ready? You got your pen out. You're listening carefully. You're ready for the easiest way to make money in real estate. So people aren't going to like the answer. Now, this is the thing, and it's always held true with real estate. It holds true with just about everything, but real estate especially. Real estate is a simple, simple business, but that doesn't make it an easy business. So although sometimes it looks like all we did, and we'll discuss all, all we did in a minute, sometimes it looks like all we did was we took this contract, we sold this contract, and we made $30,000, and people are like, wow, that's so easy, right? Well, what they don't see is all the marketing that went in to getting that deal. They don't see all of the calls that were answered to getting that deal. They don't see all of the appointments we went on who told us no and uh, to, you know, told us no or we followed up with to get that deal. They don't see the two or three months we worked with that seller following up with them. They don't see the title work we helped clear or to get them to so probate so the deed was in their name or filing a list of heirs or whatever it may be. They don't see all of that work that went into it. All they see is we advertised a property for sale for 150 and then they got an assignment showing that we were making 30 grand on it. And so from an outside perspective, it always looks like it was just so easy. So now I don't want to discourage you because let me tell you something. This business is simple. One of the things I love about real estate investing and one of the things I, I love, love, love about the real estate investing business is that literally anybody can do this. So that part is clear. Anybody can do it. If you're willing to do the work. And that's where the easy button goes away because, you know, as much as we like to talk about how simple of a business this is, and yes, some people go out and in their first week and in their first month can make 20 and 30 grand. And that's fantastic. And it happens all the time, but it doesn't mean it was easy. It might be they started in the just luck of the draw. One of their first leads turned out to be a great one. But the reality is to build a sustainable long-term business, it takes work. This is something, you know, sometimes I do things now, I might get a phone call and be able to turn it around and make 20, 30 grand. And it looks, and it is easy. It looks like it was really easy. But what you don't see with that is the 20 years of connections I've built. It's actually 26 years now of connections I've built in real estate that lead me to be able to have this this strong buyer's list of people who trust me implicitly, people that need to sell properties who know my name, know my business. And so that didn't just come overnight. That's from a long time of being in the business, always keeping your word, always coming through. And so although sometimes it looks like it's real easy and I have, you know, I have coaching students on here all the time. And, um, and so if you guys are watching on you, if you're on the podcast, you should check out the YouTube channel so you can see this. But if you're on YouTube, you probably have already seen it where we started doing a deal of the week where I'll pick one of the people I'm working with and we'll discuss one of their recent deals. Well, some of them you'll look at and you'll be like, man, he made 40 grand on that. He made 30 grand on that. And it's really exceptional and it's meant to motivate you. But don't be fooled by thinking that it was easy. No, these guys who were successful, my coaching partners who are the most successful, they're working. They're working hard every single day. 
We don't talk about all the work they do when there's no result. We only talk about the work they do when there's a check to show. So I want you to keep that in mind. And it's not just me or my students, anybody. If you're online, the guys who are showing checks and there's nothing wrong with that, they're not showing you all the deals with no checks because that wouldn't be very entertaining and it wouldn't be very inspiring to you, right? So when we turn a check, that's when we say, okay, here's this check I made for 87,000 and we go through that deal but you don't see the 20, 30, 40 that were, were, trial, were trying to work on and never panned out into a deal. It does take work. And so I wanted, to, um, I wanted to answer that question because I get asked it a lot. What's the easiest way for me to make a lot of money in real estate? And I hate to give the answer the way I did it, but my, the, my truth, my real answer is, there is it's not easy. It's simple. It is extremely simple. There's very few things to do. You market, you go on appointments, you make offers, get contracts, sell the contracts if you're wholesaling, rehab and renovate and sell if you're rehabbing. Um, it's simple, you might be doing sub two, you might be doing lease options, but it all follows the same pattern. Marketing, it all starts with marketing. Marketing, take the calls, go on appointments, write offers, and out of all the offers, then some of them will turn into contracts. It doesn't get much simpler than that. There is no other industry that I can think of where you can make massive wealth and the steps are literally that simple. That being said, doesn't mean it's easy. It takes a lot of work to get there, to get that marketing done, to get all those appointments in, to get all the research done, to make all the offers properly, to get the little bit that says yes. So I, I didn't mean to um, to do this video as a discouragement whatsoever. I live for motivating people. Believe me, that's not what I wanted to do. I just wanted to clarify, you need to ask the right questions. The right questions are not, what's the easiest path? for me to go ahead and make a bunch of money in real estate. That's it. You might ask, what's the path? But don't look for the easiest path because this business takes work. You know, I, um, I'm gonna tell you real quick and then I'll tell you something else. So, you know, the title of my book, I always talk about is work just gets in the way of making money. And I may or may not have told you already, but it was never meant to imply that this business does not take work. The reason I named it that is because for years when I was starting out, when I was first starting to make a lot of money, People would always ask me, you know, hey, Scott, can you show me how to do what you're doing? Can you teach me how to do it? And I would start to work with them. And it would almost always end with some variation of a comment that would say, well, that's easy for you. You don't have a job. And I remember I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, do you hear what you're saying? Do you hear what you're saying? You're too busy at work to make money. Everybody's like, show me how to do this. Show me how to make money. And then they would respond, that's that's easy for you. You don't have a job. And so I always inside my head was saying, I'm going to write a book someday and I'm going to call it work just gets in the way of making money. And that's exactly what I did. You know, it might have been better suited to say your job gets in the way of making money. Um, I didn't like the way that sounded. So I went with work just gets in the way of making money but I wanted to make sure to clarify that it, the intent was never to imply that this business does not take work. We work every single day. Now I work a lot less than I used to now, um, but that's because I'm not hungry anymore. I've reached a certain level of success and I'm not out there grinding every single day. Some of my coaching students are grinding and crushing it. And sometimes I'm looking and my wife and I are laughing. I'm like, he did more deals than we did this month. And I'm okay with it. I don't care. I'm, you know, I, I, I live a great life and I'm not grinding anymore. I'm not hungry. I'm not searching to get every dollar that I can out of, you know, out of the marketplace. That's your call. But, but the big thing I wanted to clarify is it takes work. Stop looking for the easy button. It's simple. The, the path to success in real estate is so simple. I mean, we can't have a, a more simple business where any person, I mean, literally you can get out of prison and be a huge success. You can be a dropout. I dropped out of high school and be a huge success, or you can have the highest of degrees and still be a huge success. There is no barrier. All you got to do is do the work. And so it's the only industry I know that's like that, where you can literally just make a decision. Deciding is the hardest part. Make a decision. This is what you're going to do. Stop looking for the easy button. Just say, okay, well, these are the steps I need to take. Okay. And now I'm going to take them. And if I get no results, I'm going to keep taking them. And if I get no results, I'm going to keep taking them. And if you keep taking them, you're going to get the results. You're going to be a successful real estate investor. So I hope, I hope I didn't, uh, take the inspiration out of anybody, take the wind out of your wings, out of your sails. But I, I, um, I really wanted to share that with you because I keep getting texts from people that are saying like, what's the easiest way? And I'm like, I feel like you're asking the wrong question. You're asking the wrong question. We don't need an easy way. It's simple. We need a simple way and you just need to do the work. It's not easy, but it is very simple. And you can, and any person can get there. I know 18 year old kids who are crushing it. So, I mean, any person could absolutely do this business. So um, just don't look for the easy button. It's simple. Just you have to do the work. 
it's all I got for you guys today. Sorry if I'm ranting on about the exact same thing. Um, I still have a ticket left for my two-day workshop that's coming up. If anybody's interested right here in Virginia Beach, it's going to be a live full two days. It's um, January 30th and 31st. That's a Saturday and Sunday. If, um, if you want information or you want me to give you a link so you can get registered, go ahead and text me at 757-699-4227. And, um, and that's all I got for you today. Go out and do something today your future self is going to thank you for. Stop looking for the easy button and just go out there and make it happen. Have a fantastic day.